part one, whenever I work on projects, I want to enjoy a cup of tea or some coffee. And the starting point for that is having some hot water. So in order to have hot water immediately in the morning when I wake up and be able to prepare myself a cup of tea or a fresh coffee, I wanted to automate a kettle like this. So this is a kettle that you usually use for boiling water, but one of the issues with it is that you need to go and manually press on the switch here on the top to turn it on and that would start the preparation of the hot water after a few minutes you're gonna have hot water but instead of me waiting in the morning to get the water hot enough for the tea i wanted to automate the process and this is the device that i came up with currently at the bench the light bulb is the one imitating the kettle so if i turn it on you see that that turns on and I have a VMOS D1 Mini that runs ESP Home running off this DIY battery. You can have the video up here about that. Controlling a relay and a push button. So the idea is that I can prepare the kettle with the water from the night before and I can pour in enough water for the morning. Turn on the kettle but I would have the entire device in a sort of ready state that I can trigger with the push button here. So if I now turn on that, the relay activates and now the light no longer works. In the instance with the kettle, the kettle will not work, but it will turn on at a specific point in the morning to heat up the water. Once that water is heated up, the kettle has an automatic... Uh, action that can turn itself off once the water is boiling so in the time that from when i wake up until i get downstairs to the kitchen to prepare the tea hopefully the water will be ready now the device is controlled as i said before by a vmos d1 mini it controls a relay that works in normally closed mode so in order for the kettle to operate the relay is basically kept off and that makes it so it acts as if it's just the regular kettle correct connected directly to the mains but once you arm it that's connected to d1 on the vimos board that's triggering the relay we know that we can now arm the device so it knows that it's now in a state where it needs to turn on when the exact conditions are met and those conditions are controlled by home assistant now since we have all this working, let's move the whole thing into an enclosure. And to make the enclosure, I will be using one of these electrical boxes that I use for my projects and one of the PCBs that I designed and manufactured with the help of PCBWay, which in fact are the sponsors of this video. PCBWay is the service I swear by when I need PCBs for my own gadgets. PCB Way is all about high quality and customizability, no matter if you are a hobbyist or a professional. Their website is super user friendly, so I just upload my design, select the specs and boom, they handle the rest. With their state of the art manufacturing and rigorous testing, every PCB comes out flawless. Plus, they have lightning fast turnaround times, which is a lifesaver when you are itching to see your project come to life. PCB Way also offers assembly services, making them a one-stop shop for all your PCB needs, but their service do not end there. They also offer 3D printing, CNC machining and sheet metal fabrication, making them a perfect choice for any maker. Visit PCBWay.com from the link below and grab a special welcoming bonus to take your project to the next level. To make everything fit on the PCB, I'll have the HLK PM03 module to supply us with 5 volts. I'll have the relay in the middle and then the VMOS on the side and I'll solder it through the help of some pin headers so I can take it out if needed. We'll see how I'm gonna mount the relay because there are no obvious ways of mounting this but I will might I might modify the PCB and the idea is that I'm gonna cut the cable that uh, comes with the base of the kettle and one side will plug into the input and the other side will plug into the output and we will be able to control it through the relay, relay as I showed earlier. So now on to the build time lapse and I'll explain how the whole thing works in node assistant after we finish it as a as a whole package
And here is the final completed device. I currently have it in the arm state. I don't know how much you can see that, but I've extended the LED that is off the server. So now it's in arm state and when the automation comes and checks that it's the right time, then it will switch off the relay. Now the relay is on, but I can also disarm the device and that would bring the light on and make it in a regular operation. So yeah, that, that LED is not really seeing through the camera, but it's visible enough. If it's not, then I'm gonna replace it with another one. But everything is now ready. Everything is soldered in. Everything is powered off this HLK PM01 module. Uh, at the beginning I started, I used the wrong one. I used the PM03, which is 3.3 volt, but then I replaced it with the correct one. And because now everything works, I'm gonna cut the cable and install everything within the uh, electrical box. It goes without saying, but I must warn you that most of this PCB is now live with main voltage. So before doing any work, make sure that you unplug it and be safe and don't touch anything while it's connected to the mains because that can and will k kill you if you are not careful. And here is the device complete. It's now plugged into the outlet and I can trigger it. So you'll see that the LED will turn on. And if I bring the kettle, then while in the off position, if I switch it on, you'll see that the light turns on. There is no water inside, so I won't run it for long. But if I now schedule it, uh, the when I turn on the switch, you'll see that there is no power coming out in the actual kettle until the time comes where the automation that we have in the home assistant kicks in and turns off the relay and turns on the kettle to boil the water. Once the water is boiled, then the automatic switch here will release and we have hot water for our tea and whatever we want. Now let's go and jump into Home Assistant and so I can show you the code how this whole thing runs. And for the kettle, this is the YAML file with the configuration. We have a switch that's defined on pin D2 that's always off and this controls the relay that controls the kettle. Uh, this one is always off and I have the kettle connected to the normally closed contact. So in normal operation, the relay is not working and the kettle is working. So we don't really need to push the relay to be always on. And then for the push button, I have a binary sensor connected to pin D1, which is inverted uh, because I'm using the internal uh, pull up and the pin connect and the button connects to the ground. So when I press it, it triggers the switch. There is a 20 millisecond delay to prevent any debounce, so bouncing of the contacts. So for debunk processes and whenever I press it, I just toggle the kettle relay, what's defined up. And that's basically all there is to the device up there. It's just the name and everything. So this is the uh, view. It's defined that it's in the area of kitchen. It's currently disarmed and the arm switch is currently set to off. If I press it, you'll see that it quickly changes to on and now the whole system is armed 
and we also have that as indication with the LED on top. I can choose to disarm it and that would turn off the relay and the, the kettle will continue working normally. And the whole magic happens with this automation that I have here, which turns on the kettle if it's armed. So whenever the time is equal to now it's 1018, we'll make this as 1020. And this is the what you would usually set as your waking up if the armed is on then we just need to turn it off so let's save it go back i'll arm the kettle now and i'll also trigger the switch you see that it's currently not on because we have it armed and now let's just wait a bit until the correct time is achieved and we'll see the kettle turning on so any second now you see the relay turned off and now we have the kettle as being on i'm gonna turn it off because i have no water inside but the idea is that you're gonna prepare this uh from the evening before arm it and at the set time in the morning the kettle will turn on will boil the water and will turn off automatically because that's how the switch up here works and with that i hope that you like this project and you found it interesting if you did then be sure to like this video make sure to leave a comment if you have any questions and subscribe for more projects and videos in the future i will see you all in the next one cheers